How you doing everybody? My name is Dr. Sami Baya. Please welcome back to my YouTube channel. Growing up in a toxic or dysfunctional family. That's the title of this video. Growing up in a toxic or dysfunctional family can have profound effects on an individual's development and well-being. So in this video, I'm going to give you an exploration of this topic across various dimensions using real life examples and experiences to illustrate these issues. Number one thing that happens when you, are when you grow up in a toxic or dysfunctional family is emotional neglect. In a toxic family, emotional neglect can manifest as a lack of affection and support. For instance, a child in such a family might feel invisible if their emotional needs are consistently ignored. This often leads to feelings of worthlessness and difficulty in forming healthy relationships later in life. The other thing about growing up in toxic or dysfunctional family is constant criticism. In many dysfunctional families, constant criticism is common. Imagine a child who can never do anything right in the eyes of their parents. This constant negativity can damage their self-esteem and lead to chronic self-doubt. The other thing about toxic or dysfunctional family is unpredictable parenting. Unpredictable behavior from parents can create a chaotic home environment. For example, a parent might be loving and supportive one day, but harsh and punitive the next day. This inconsistency makes it hard for children to understand how to behave and feel secure. The other thing about growing up in a toxic or dysfunctional family is substance abuse. Substance abuse within a family can create a volatile environment. A child whose parent is an alcoholic might experience neglect, abuse, or erratic behavior, leading to long-term psychological issues and difficulties in forming stable relationships. The other issue about growing up in a toxic or dysfunctional family is physical abuse. Physical abuse is an extreme form of dysfunction that can have severe consequences. For example, a child who is regularly beaten may develop trust issues and experience problems with aggression or anxiety in their adult life. Then there is emotional manipulation. Emotional manipulation such as guilt tripping or using affection as a bargaining chip can make children feel responsible for their parents' emotions. For instance, a child might feel they must constantly please their parent to avoid anger or disappointment. The other issue about growing up in a toxic or dysfunctional family is role reversal. In some dysfunctional families, role reversal is prevalent. Children are forced into adult roles such as taking care of siblings or managing household responsibilities. This role reversal can stunt their emotional development and lead to issues with authority and independence later on. In toxic or dysfunctional families, we have lack of boundaries. A family without clear boundaries can lead to overstepping and lack of personal space. For example, a parent who invades a teenager's privacy can cause feelings of resentment and hinder the development of healthy personal boundaries. Then there is inconsistent discipline. Inconsistent or overly harsh discipline can confuse children. For instance, a child might face severe punishment for minor infractions leading to confusion and resentment towards authority figures. Then there is a parental conflict. Constant fighting between parents 
creates a tense and stressful environment. For example, children in such homes might feel anxious and insecure, struggling with their own emotional regulation and conflict resolution skills. Then there's a lack of support for academic and extracurricular activities which can demoralize children. If parents dismiss their child's achievements or fail to support their interests, it can lead to low self-esteem and a lack of motivation. Growing up in a toxic or dysfunctional family, there will be issues of abandonment. Emotional or physical abandonment can have lasting effects. A child who is neglected by parents who are physically present but emotionally distant may struggle with feelings of inadequacy and difficulties forming secure attachments. Growing up in a toxic or dysfunctional family, you will see favoritism. Favoritism among siblings can create a toxic atmosphere of competition and jealousy. For example, a parent who consistently praises one child over the other or over the others can lead to long-lasting sibling rivalry and feelings of inadequacy. Growing up in a toxic or dysfunctional family will also there will be isolation. Families that isolate themselves from friends and community can foster a sense of alienation. A child growing up in isolation may struggle with social skills and feel disconnected from others. Growing up in a toxic or dysfunctional family, you will there will be issues of invalidation of feelings. In dysfunctional families, children's feelings might be dismissed or invalidated. For instance, telling a child they are overreacting when they express distress can undermine the ability to process and communicate emotions effectively. Then there are also issues of excessive control. Overly controlling parenting can stifle a child's independence. For example, a parent who micromanages every aspect of their child's life can lead to issues with self-confidence and autonomy. Then there is the enmeshment, which occurs when boundaries between family members are blurred. A child might feel they must take on the emotional burdens of their parents, which can hinder their own emotional development and create dependency issues. In toxic or dysfunctional families, there is the lack of communication. Poor communication within a family can lead to misunderstandings and unresolved conflicts. For example, if family members do not talk about their issues openly, it can create a sense of emotional distance and mistrust. Then there is also the parental absence. Absence, whether physical or emotional, can create significant challenges. A child whose parent is frequently absent may struggle with feelings of abandonment and develop issues with attachment and trust. Then there is the financial difficulties that can exacerbate family dysfunction. A child growing up in poverty might experience additional stress and instability affecting their overall development and opportunities in life. Then there is unresolved trauma. Families with unresolved trauma may pass on dysfunction to their children. For example, a parent who has experienced abuse may struggle with anger management, affecting their parenting style and creating a cycle of dysfunction. Then there is the lack of boundaries. When family members do not respect each other's personal space and privacy, it can lead to a lack of trust and independence. For instance, a child whose parents do not respect their privacy might struggle with personal boundaries in their own relationships. Then there is the denial of problems within the family which can prevent necessary intervention and support. A family that refuses to acknowledge issues like abuse or addiction might prevent the affected child from receiving the help they need. Some families place excessive value on appearances and external success. For example, a child in a family that prioritizes image over genuine connection 
may develop a skewed sense of self-worth and struggle with authenticity. Absence of parental involvement in a child's life can also lead to feelings of neglect. For instance, a child whose parents are disengaged from the education or interests might feel unsupported and undervalued. In families with high conflict, children may feel torn between parents or siblings. For example, a child might feel pressure to take sides, leading to internal conflict and difficulties in forming their own identity. Dysfunctional families often have rigid roles that limit personal growth. For instance, a child might be forced into a caretaker role which can hinder their ability to develop their own interests and relationships. Family with misguided values can instill harmful beliefs in children. For example, if a family values material success above all else, a child might grow up feeling that their worth is based on wealth and status. In toxic families, mental health issues may be overlooked or stigmatized. For example, a child struggling with depression might not receive the support they need, leading to worsening mental health and difficulty seeking help. Dysfunctional families often lack effective conflict resolution skills. For example, if family members resort to shouting or avoidance rather than constructive communication, children learn unhealthy ways to handle disagreements. Families that demand perfection can create immense pressure. A child who is constantly expected to excel in all areas might develop anxiety and a fear of failure, impacting their overall mental health and well-being. Unpredictable reactions from parents can create a sense of instability. For instance, a child might not know how a parent will react to their behavior, leading to chronic anxiety and difficulty feeling secure. A lack of encouragement can stifle a, a child's potential. For example, if parents do not praise their child's efforts or achievements, the child might struggle with motivation and self-worth. In some families, there is an overemphasis on success and achievement. For instance, a child pressured to excel academically or athletically might experience burnout and struggle with self-esteem if they do not meet these expectations. Inconsistent parenting can lead to confusion and insecurity. For example, if one parent enforces rules while the other is lenient, a child might struggle to understand expectations and develop behavioral issues. In toxic families, children may be blamed for problems beyond their control. For instance, a child might be blamed for their parents' marital issues, leading to feelings of guilt and low self-esteem. Basic needs like adequate food, shelter, and safety might be neglected in dysfunctional families. For example, a child living in poverty or with neglectful caregivers might face significant developmental and emotional challenges. Overprotective parents can hinder a child's ability to develop independence. For instance, a parent who does not allow their child to make mistakes or take risks can create a sense of inadequacy and dependency. Families with a stigma around seeking help may prevent children from getting necessary support. For example, a child with a learning disability might not receive special education services due to parental denial or embarrassment. Unresolved anger within the family can create a hostile environment. For instance, a parent who frequently expresses anger towards their child can lead to issues with self-esteem and trust. Manipulative behavior by family members can create a toxic dynamic. For example, a parent who uses emotional blackmail to control their child can lead to confusion and difficulties in establishing healthy relationships. In dysfunctional families, there may be a lack of positive role models. For instance, a child who does not see healthy relationship dynamics might struggle to develop their own positive relationship skills. Then, overemphasis on achievement can lead to unrealistic expectations. For example, a child who is praised only for academic success might struggle with self-worth if they do not meet high standards. Toxic families often undermine a child's self-esteem. For example, constant belittling or demeaning comments can lead to a persistent feeling of inadequacy and affect the child's self-image. Codependent relationships within a family can create unhealthy dynamics. For instance, a parent who relies on the child for emotional support can hinder the child's emotional development and create dependency issues. In some families, 
one parent may attempt to alienate the child from the other parent. For example, if one parent speaks negatively about the other, it can create confusion and emotional distress for the child. Children in toxic families might develop unhealthy coping mechanisms. For example, a child exposed to constant conflict might resort to substance abuse or other risky behaviors to cope with their stress. In dysfunctional families, there may be a lack of empathy and understanding. For instance, a child whose feelings are consistently dismissed may struggle to develop empathy and emotional intelligence. Dysfunctional families often lack adequate support systems. For example, a child who does not have extended family or community support might face additional challenges in overcoming family dysfunction. Dysfunctional family patterns can perpetuate across generations. For instance, a child who grows up in a toxic environment might replicate similar behaviors in their own relationships or parenting style. Thank you for watching this video. I hope you've learned a thing or two. Please subscribe to my YouTube channel if you've not done so. Remember, growing up in a toxic or dysfunctional family or in a narcissistic family is not easy. But with this knowledge, with this video, I hope it will help you understand these issues. Remember, knowledge is power. Thank you. Please subscribe to my YouTube channel if you've not done so.